Today is a very sad day, in spite of the fact that it's supposed to be the Founders' Day, celebrating the illustrious contributions of Bam and Roma to the development of our nation. Some ones of our colleagues under the banner the Democracy Hub informed the Ghana Police Service of their intention to do a public action at the Julobi House. Unfortunately, without any water, the Ghana Police Service decided to become brutish. And whilst they never went to any port, no injunction has been placed whatsoever, the police decided that they would disrupt the actions of our colleagues. They took them and they have distributed them to about seven different cells across. And so some of the people have been here, some are at Shukura, some are at the Gantomen, and they have distributed them everywhere. As I speak to you, former war is currently the only person they have put in police cell at the railway police station. They isolated him because they think that he's the leader. Our lawyers are here and they are working feverishly to secure their release. We think that the police is wrong. The police have become violent. Instead of being a police service, they are now a police brutal force. We cannot allow our democracy to be frustrated by the actions of the police. And this is not good for the police. Anytime they want to embark on this action, we are emboldened to even become more violent. Yes. The people that they have arrested also have children. The police officers from Dampare to Garba, they have children. If they brutalize us today, they should be told that their children will be brutalized by other people. And so we are disappointed that citizens' right to demonstrate has been curtailed by the police. But we are working feverishly with our lawyers. You can see Justice Srem, you can see Lusa Fuseni, and a host of them. They are going to distribute themselves into the various police stations to see how they will be able to secure the release of our comrades and compatriots who decided to embark on the people's exercise. Let President Akufuado and the Ghana Police Service be told that any time anyone resists peaceful change, violent change will occasion. We don't want to engage in violence, but if they push us to the wall, we have no other option.